everyone. The interval 1, 3 is partitioned into two subintervals, 1 to 2 and 2 to 3. We're going to approximate the area uh, using u as left endpoint of each subinterval and also using u as the right endpoint of each subinterval. So basically, what that means is uh, this is already divided into two for us, but when you look at this, you have uh, points 1, 2, and 3. So when we're partitioning into two, we're just looking at two of them. So when we're starting with the uh, left endpoint, that means we're starting at f of one. If we use the right, we're start. We're going to go f of one, and then we're going to use f of two. If we're using the right endpoint, we're going to start at f of two, and then use f of three. So we'll get started. Um, we have 1 to 3, so you take 3 minus 1, and we need two intervals, so that's uh, divide by 2, and this is going to equal 1. So we're going to multiply each of these by 1. And so the area for part A is going to be approximately f of 1 times 1. You always multiply it by the that. All right. Uh, plus f of 2 times 1, and this is going to give you 1 times 1, which is just 1, plus 2 times 1, so that's just plus 2, so the answer is 3. Now for the um, second part, we're starting at 2, because we're starting at the 2, so that's going to be f of 2 times 1, plus f of 3 times 1. And that's going to equal 2 times 1 plus 4 times 1. And that equals 6. So a big difference depending on um, which part you used. If you use the right endpoint or the left endpoint. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. <laughs>